Well, I've been here for about an hour and a half, and the only reason I know that is because I was watching an episode of The Saint, an old black and white show from the 60s, maybe? I don't know. Good lord. Um, and I think I've gone through enough swords, probably at least a dozen of them. These guys just keep coming. But I think I've got everything I need from this spawner. I can't imagine what else I would give. Good lord, you guys. What else I could get. So I think it's about time we move on. Here, I'll show you what I've got. I have 18 of these bows that I can... For two po for two XP, yeah, I've got uh, nine XP doing this. And a whole whack of these things. Some of, them, some of them are actually pretty good. Most of them are... Ooh, look at that zero. How is that even possible? Why isn't that thing broken? Hmm. So yeah, I've got more than I more than enough. Let's just say that. So I think we can finally get rid of this spawner. I hate to do it, but I don't really need it anymore. I'm going to take some of these away. And actually, maybe I'll take most of them away. Spread them out so that they're not all in one location. Just in case some friendly creeper happens to... Oh, I should have left some in there. Good Lord. Just in case some friendly creeper happens to stop by and pay his respects. So... Oh yeah, and you noticed I found my pickaxe? Been here the whole time. Sorry about the change in volume, but the microphone wasn't close enough. Ah, boy. Hey, let's throw a couple in here. Let's throw one in here. What can we take out? Let's take out... Sea Pickle. Why is that in there? We'll throw one in there. Alrighty. Uh, let's throw... None in there. Oh, we threw some in there. You know, every time I make this run, I keep thinking, i got to build a minecart between these bases. And why doesn't that chicken egg up there ever despawn? It seems to always be there, doesn't it? Oh, well. Okay, so we're back over here. I don't know how much power this anvil has left in it, but it's going to take three pieces of iron to bring this up to full and 4xp. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to make a new sword and spend two pieces of iron and then we'll go upstairs and enchant it and maybe we can combine the two. Oops. Yeah, let's go up. Conserve where you can. Alright, let's see. So if I throw this on there, I'll get sharpness two. What have I... Oh, yeah, and I got a... Oh, yeah, let's have a look what the book does. So, this one has sharpness 2. So, if I put the two of them together, I'll get sharpness 3. We can go up to 5, but... Eh, okay, knockback. I don't care about knockback. I'd rather have sharpness. Sharpness. Oh, that's all I got. Now, what can I get? Oh, sharpness 3. What are the odds, eh? We really have to get up. We need those last two bookshelves. Whoops. Don't need that. All right. This thing's going to break one day. Whoops. Not that thing. This thing. Let's see. Six. And six. Unbreaking one. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, we forgot to put the book back. Okay. Well, I'm off on my next little adventure. Oops. Yes, I know I haven't gone into the dungeon yet. That will be, be coming up soon. Whoops. Oh, man. Just want to drop a few things off and I'll tell you what I'm working on next. Oh, wrong place. All right. Well, here's somewhere we haven't been for a while. Back at the witch spawner in the first dungeon. 
I need to get a witch. And a witch that is three blocks away from the player, there's a 25% chance they'll throw a potion of weakness. Well, what's this? A husk spawner. Well, he's pretty safe in there. We'll leave him for now. I haven't heard any blazes spawning up above. Maybe we're just too far away right now. We should light that up. Anyway, so what I need to do is get a witch to spawn, which really shouldn't be a problem, but I also want to be able to turn it off. So I've brought some tools with me, some materials, that we'll leave out here. I should put a door on there just in case things go wrong. We are going to put that on the top, and we're going to hook it up to a switch that we can operate from the outside, so we'll be able to turn the witch spawner on and off. So we'll, oh perfect, right above we can do it. So, we'll just make sure this little beauty is lit as much as possible so nothing accidentally spawns. Don't you be getting any ideas in there. All right, now we, oh we have redstone in there. So yeah, I'm gonna make a switch out there. Gotta fill in some of these gaps. Yeah, so let me get this set up, and then all we got to do is entice a zombie villager over here, which I don't think will be really hard, from our zombie spawner over there. All I got to do is just get them to follow me, which they're usually pretty compliant about. I can have them, yeah, see if I can get the witch spawner to spawn in one location. Which shouldn't be too hard. All i got to do is just fill in everywhere I don't want them to spawn. Have the witch spawner, like, have the witch spawn maybe right here. Have the zombie right here. I can stand here. And everything will work out. Because zombies, witches don't bother zombie villagers. So once I get them converted, I forgot a golden apple. Good lord. You might want to go get that then. I will want to go get that. But it's going to take me a while to get all this set up. So I'll get it done and come back and then we'll see how things are going. All right, phase one complete. We were able to turn the, the witch spawner on and off. We've got a little control panel over here. When the light or the switch is up, the light is on. We can test it or we can verify it by looking at that. So we put it in the off position, which chamber lighting is off. This lantern goes off and that light goes off. So we can now regulate how many witches or if witches come out. We'll have to block all these glass. Well, we'll just replace them with something else. But yeah, in the meantime, that's working. So now we just have to make it so the witch can only spawn or come to one location. I'd like to get her right here, maybe between these two. We could even f leave a little air or have an area here and force her over here with water because this isn't the nether or anything that even looks like it. We can place water and beds and all sorts of nifty stuff. And I'm thinking of um, of placing a trap door. We'll block off the top part. We'll have the zombie villager in here. So if we have the witch here, the zombie villager here, and maybe put a another trap door, a gate on this side, then I can stand here. The witch will throw potions of weakness at me. We'll scooch over here so she doesn't throw any more. Uh, then what? Maybe I need to, no, I don't want a door because the villager would break the, or open the door. I don't want a gate because I want her as close as possible. Maybe we'll make it so that there's a a trap door here and another one up here that we can close from the outside, put a lever up there so that when it's done, yeah, that would work. Then we don't have the witch keep tossing things at me. So we need 
two of those. Perfect. All right. It's like a plan coming together. I don't know how much time I'm going to waste doing this, but we all know something's going to botch it up. There. See? So we can leave that one open. We could even have... No, we'll leave it on... We can't put it on that side because it might be too tall for the witch. But if we put it on this side... That should work. See, we can even just put a lever up here. Uh, nice. I'll need a sign there. Open and close, just so I know. And I need a place that I can come in from the side so the witch doesn't have to see me until I'm ready. I have to be here. Three blocks away from the witch. I don't know why I need that. But we got to get the zombie in here. So what we can do is if I come running in here, the zombie actually can't pass that. I could probably close the gate with a lever from here. And then... Uh, yeah, if the zombie stands, he won't come in here. But we can push him in here with water. Gotta love water, hey? All right, so what's going on here? There's probably a torch there. Mr. Paranoid about the light. Oh, he's got to have torches. Oh, I should put a lantern up here. I got a couple lanterns I can spare. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I just got to... All right, so I'm going to keep going. This is fun. These things are terrible on the ground. You have to keep walking around them. Oh, boy. And the nice thing is the sun isn't out. There's, there's no sun down here, so it won't cause the... Actually, if we had water right here, the mob would come here, and the water would push them through. Well, we got to get rid of that. Great. But I want a lantern. The water would push him down here. I can scooch through here, but the... Scooch through, close that, then the zombie villager will be trapped. Nice. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Okay, we're just going to do a test run. Oh, this has to get out of here. Well, the zombie will go over it. So if the zombie's following me... We come down here, we come down here, he's got no choice but to follow me. We go down, I scooch out, turn around, I can close that. I can even stand here and close it. And then I come up here, the water's forcing him down there. And let's see, right on that block, we have to place that. We pick up our water. And then he's stuck in here. We could actually close it from here. Stand. Let's get rid of this. So I've got somewhere to back up to. If I'm here, I'm three blocks away from the witch. They throw a splash potion at me. Oh, you accidentally hit the zombie. How rude. I can close that. Take some. The zombies here freaking out. I don't even need that. Uh, give him the apple. And away he goes. Turns into a villager. Then we've got a couple beds here. So we'll place a couple beds outside. And hopefully he'll come out. And come over here. And we'll leave this door open. Oops. Okay, we'll have to do something about that. We'll put a bed in here. We'll make this bigger. Put a bed in here for him. And everything will be happy. Everything will be hunky-dory. Oh. All right. So, the only thing I haven't tested yet is the witch spawner. So, we got to do that next. So, let me get that taken care of. Like I say, we only want the witch right here. And we can even force the witch over with water. 
But we can't spawn the witch until we've got the zombie, because I need to be able to run through here. So let's get this all prepped. Oh, we got to get rid of that. I don't know. Sounds good so far. Famous last words. <laughs> oh, full inventory. All right. Let me carry on. So what do you think of this, Joe? This is the house for our villager. He's got a chest. Okay. He's got a bed. He's got a little couch inside. It's got lots of light. Oh, I've got to fix that. Um, it's got a nice little couch on the outside so he can, well, not really catch the evening sun or anything. I doubt he's going to use it very much. Yeah, but it'll be a safe place for him to go. Not that there's anything in there that's going to attack him. I like it. And then have a look at this. Uh, let's see. Let's get this here. I'll show you how this is going to work. I'm going to have him spawn over there. Okay. That's my zombie spawner. I'll have him follow me over here. I know it's kind of a walk, but eh, it's not like he's got anywhere else to go. Hi, rabbit. Kill it. Nah, he's fine. Oh, man. He'll come down here. Let's see if I got it. Where's my bucket? Oh, I almost got rid of it. Then he'll follow me in here. Oops, that'll be closed. He'll follow me in here. Oh no, we're getting pushed by the water. Then I'll scooch through here, turn around and quickly close that <laughs> and that. And he'll be trapped by the water. So I'll come up here and I'll put this right there. Take okay. my, I don't know where my bucket went. I think I put it over there. It's then okay. he will be here, sitting in there. Then I can quickly run out here. Hmm, I can't really... Oh, I can make a door right here. There we go. I'll put a door on here. Oh, blazes are spawning. I can hear them above me. We'll come over here. See, I've got the... See that light down there? Uh -huh. That's going to be the only light that's in here. We'll come here. We'll turn it off. A witch will spawn because it'll be dark in there, and the witch will only spawn where I'm going to let it spawn. And then we can come back in here. Whoa! <laughs> Beat up the blaze. Hey, buddy. What? Don't Let's... let it kill you. Yeah, watch out for the blazes. <laughs> what the heck is he doing down here? How did he get down the here? The light maybe being turned off. Maybe made him spawn. He didn't even drop me anything. Anyways, then where's our way? Then when we come down and stand down here, oops. Uh, I think it's stuck. Yeah, I think I'm stuck. We can open this door. The witch will be standing right there. She'll throw a splash potion of weakness. We'll close that. Heal the zombie. Give the zombie the golden apple. And then once the zombie's cured, he'll be able to come out here and go over to his nice little home. Smart. Yeah, I think it'll work. I just have to get the golden apple here. But oh, there's a zombie spawner here. I could even it's a make baby zombie. No, it's not. Looks pretty small. Yeah, he's he hasn't been eating right. <laughs> and then the zombie will, or the villager will come over here. Oh, you know what we need to bring in here is a lectern because we need a librarian. We can oh. put it right there. Smart. I bet my bucket's in here. We gotta go. Yep. There it is. So, oh, I needed that too somewhere. I can't remember where. It's in here. You're gonna fix the corner. Yep. Correct. Boink. Oh, that doesn't look good. I know. Ugh. <sighs> I probably don't have any more bamboo. Nope. I'll have to. I mean. We got some here. Watch how this. How much are you really gonna be looking at? a lot of bamboo. Yeah. Like how much are you really going to be looking at that? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Got to make it nice for the villager. He's not going to care. Well, doesn't mean we can't make nice stuff for him. I probably wouldn't make something nice for a villager. Because it's just a villager in a game. But you got to be nice. All right. So Stay. now I got to work. I haven't tested the zombie villager part yet. This way. Right one. there. All right, so let me fix this, yeah, and we'll go test the zombie or the witch part still. 
Nice. Now nah, how's that look? Looks good. Whoa, whoa. Well, that looks kind of ugly, but... <laughs> when did the villager get there? Well, he's a camel vendor. If I give him... What, what do I have to give him? Cactus, he gives me two sp camel spawn eggs. I've got a whole bunch of them. I've got about 20 of them. I'm not really sure what to do with them yet. All right, so I have to go get my golden apple, but we got to test the witch spawner. You might want to do that. Yep, or work. All right, so I'm just going to fill all this in. I want to be able to see this from up there, but I also don't want things spawning on it. They shouldn't spawn on redstone, but we'll fill all this in. And oh, the only place witches will spawn is on here, and we're going to have water in there that'll push them towards here so that we don't have to go chasing them. And we'll test it out, see if it works. So I'll meet up with you in just a minute. All right. Well, believe it or not, this is the witch chamber. We have it all filled in. Uh, we can see this block, this lantern from outside. We're going to put water in here. So it'll push the witches over this way. And then we're going to close this. And we're going to close that one for now. And we're going to go out and give it a test. Oh, uh, really? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can see that it's light in there. So turn it off. Should be dark. And we'll just wait and see if it'll spawn a witch. Oh, yeah, I guess we have to get a little bit... No, we were never close to the... Why is it so bright in there? Is it because I've got a lantern out here? Maybe I need to reduce the light out here a bit. Whoop! Okay! So it does, and the witch will come right over here. We'll have the zombie here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them spawning. Okay, we know it works, so let's go put the light back on. And we'll get rid of those guys. And then... I can hear them drinking. Yeah, light's back on. Oh, and then we can see about getting a zombie. This may take a while. I wonder if you can get water to push them faster. If they're going to be... Tr oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Come on! I don't have knockback on a stone sword. There we go. Nice. All right, so we have to work on getting the zombie over here. I need... I need a gate so that we can... Once he's here, we'll drop it, because he'll get pushed against that. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we need to leave that open, because we have to go through there. When we go through, we'll close it. Then we can get out here, but he won't be able to. I've put that there so witches don't spawn there. So let's uh, drop our water bucket. Put a little water thing over here put that there uh we don't need the water pushing the other way just yet not till we're ready to do the witches so let's ooh, this will be fun oh actually we don't need this either this was just for while i was testing it all right so we can put that there because we don't want a witch until we're ready for him 
put stone in here. All right, I'm going to go find myself a zombie villager. I'll be back in... Oh, it shouldn't take long to find that, right? We should be able to get one right away. Oh, name tags. Uh, where did I put the name tags? I would have sworn I brought them. I might have to go get them. All right. Well, I'll check around here. Oh, it's probably in the chest over here. If not, I'll go find them somewhere. Oh, and I've put in a lectern, so our villager will have something to do when he gets here. Hmm. How could I have I forgotten them? Hmm. Easy, I forget everything. Still need rabbit hides. That's a baby rabbit, right? Is it? Yep. We don't need him. That one's not. Ugh. Oh well, at least they are still spawning. Hmm. Gotta go get a name tag. So, it would seem someone's been playing with some of the settings. I've been at this spawner for probably two hours. I have taken care of, let's see, statistics mobs. When I started was, where did I write it down? 5,087. So I've killed about 350 of them. And I have not got one zombie villager. I have got five stacks of rotten flesh. Oops, not this. Wait a second. And I have also got all of this stuff, which is kind of, kind of nice, but not anything I need. So someone has changed the settings on this spawner, because I know if you looked at that mob thing that I just looked at, you'll see I've killed eight zombie villagers and I'll bet I did most of them here so at some point this has been tweaked with and these guys are not going to spawn zombie villagers so I am going to move on to plan B I am not one to give up so I will be back with plan B <laughs> hey buddy you should get a chair out here <laughs> 